Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the bond strength between the concrete and steel. The bond strength is very important for the any structure member to take the load and transfer the load safely to the other structure member. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss the main factors which affect the bond strength between the concrete and the steel. As we have good bond strength, so our member can behave much better than those members which don't have any good bond strength between the concrete and the steel. So that's why bond strength uh, between these two different materials is very important to know. Let's consider that this is any beam, the longitudinal length of the beam, this is the longitudinal view of this beam uh, with the reinforcement there is a steel bar provided uh, in the beam and this is the cross section of the beam. You can see there is a cross view of this beam and where the concrete has been poured in this beam. I just consider an example to explain the factors affecting the bond strength between the, the concrete and the steel. So the first factor which affects the bond strength between these two different materials is the concrete strength, the strength of concrete. How it affects the bond strength? If you have good, if you have high strength of the concrete, then we have good bond strength between these two different materials. So it means if my strength of the concrete is higher, so my bond strength is also going to be higher. My bond strength, the bond strength, the bond strength will also be higher if you have high strength of the concrete. If you use 30,000, if you use 3,000 pieces of concrete, then we have uh, less bond strength. If you are using the 10,000 pieces of concrete, then we have higher bond strength between the steel and the concrete. Then we have high bond strength and our beam member can behave much better than the low strength of than with the low strength of the concrete. This is the first factor. The second factor is the concrete cover. Concrete cover. If you have high concrete cover, if you have more larger concrete cover, then our bond strength is also to be higher. Third factor, the second factor which affects the bond strength. It means that if you have a concrete cover, there is a concrete cover which we provide normally. It may be 2 inches, 3 inches, depend upon your structure member. So if you have high concrete cover, then we have good bond strength between these two different materials. The third one is the diameter of the bar. Diameter of the steel bar. Diameter of the bar, right? So if you have higher diameter, if you have larger diameter of the bar, then our bone strength decreases in this case. Then our bone strength is going to decrease. It means if we are using the larger diameter of the ball, like this has been larger diameter of the ball, so my bone strength will not be the one which we have with the smaller diameter of the bar. So to increase the bone strength, we have to use the smaller diameter of the bar. The fourth one is the distance between the bars. Distance between steel rebars. It means if you have higher distance between, if a larger distance between the steel rebars, then we have bond strength also higher. It means this is the distance between rebars, this distance, and similarly this distance. If you have higher this distance between the rebars, then we have high bond strength. If they are close enough to each other, there is no space for the concrete to flow inside the release bar. So we have low bond strength. If you have higher distance, so the concrete can be easily flow and can help make a good bond strength between the uh, concrete and the steel. So that's important to know that the distance between the steel release bar also affect the bond strength. If you have higher distance, so we have good bond strength. If you low smaller distance between the rebar, we have bad strength, bad bond strength. The fifth factor is the last factor which affects the bond strength is the type of the rebar. Type of rebar. We have two different types of rebar. The first one is the plain rebar. Plain rebar. In this case, we don't have any ribs in the steel rebar. The second one is the deformed or ribs rebar. We call it the deformed or sometimes rib rebar. So in plain rebar, our bone strength is always been decreasing, is always decreased. In case of the 
in case of the deformed bar or bone strength is always increased because in deformed rebar if you see this is a rebar if I see this is this is my rebar view right this is, this is the steel rebar in case of the plane rebar we have plane surface of the rebar so we don't have any good connection between the steel and the in the concrete while in this way our bone strength being decreasing because there is no such friction provided between the steel surface and the concrete while in case of the deformed bar we have ribs on the top of the rebar so these ribs make the more friction provided to the concrete so that's why we have high friction in case of the deformed bar and we have high bond strength hope you guys understand what are the factors affecting the bond strength in the main concept of the bond strength between the concrete and the steel which is very important for the structure member to behave good hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos Thank you for watching my video.